Hello everyone, welcome to our programming library. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about missing values in R. The missing values are those uh, whose values are unknown in the data and they are represented in R by capital N, capital A. Uh, first of all, uh, let's talk about how to detect missing values in the data. I have a vector V here uh, with some missing values. Uh, uh, let's read that vector. And, uh, and then uh, we can use is.na uh, function uh, to see if missing values are there in the vector. So uh, let's see. Let's see if missing values are there. Okay, so uh, we can see here that the is.na function returns with a logical vector with true uh, for missing values here and false for non-missing values. We can go further and find the index of the vectors uh, containing the missing value using uh, whiz function in addition to is.na function. So the index 5 and index 9 contains the missing values in vector v. Vector v. Uh, as, a, as a second example, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, use a data frame to see how missing values are detected. Uh, I have my data frame here um, is stored as a CSV file. Uh, so let's, let's read that file first and load it in the console. The data frame here contains um, five columns and 30 rows with uh, uh, missing values here. And you can see some missing values here. Uh, and now to find um, the position of these missing values, um, we can use which function. And these are the position of the missing values and they, they are counted column wise. So any missing values in the first column is counted first and then, then missing values uh, from the second column and so on. Um, to find uh, all the rows with at least one missing value, we can use the same which function in addition to row, sum, row sums function here. So let's find those rows with the mi missing values. So these are the rows um, which have uh, missing values. Uh, we can even count the total number of uh, missing values in the data frame using sum uh, uh, function in addition to is.na function. So let's see that. Okay, we have a uh, total eight missing values um, in the data frame. And to find the number of missing values in the each column, uh, we can use the call sums function in addition to is dot any function. So in first column, there are two missing values. In second, there are two. In third column, one. In fourth column, one. And in the fifth column, there are two missing values. Now, uh, there are other missing value fil filters in R. For example, na dot fail uh, function stops um, uh, completely if missing values are found. So let's use that code. So uh, it it sort um, the error message because there are some missing values. Uh, and a dot omit function uh, removes any rows containing the missing values. So let's create a, a data frame um, using this function and see that data frame. So you can see here, uh, we used omit, uh, na dot omit function and all the missing uh, values are gone. Uh, also, na dot um, pass function can, uh, can be used uh, to do nothing on the data. So it just um, passes the missing values without, uh, without uh, correcting it. Uh, so let's talk about how to deal with uh, these um, uh, missing values. Uh, to calculate uh, many mathematical functions like mean, uh, median, standard deviation, maximum, etc., we can just use uh, na.rm argument. And when it is said true, all the missing values are excluded from the calculation. So uh, let's calculate the mean values, mean value of vector v. Okay, it is 6.4. So what we have done here 
is we use na.rm arguments and set it to true and the missing um, the missing values are excluded and we uh, we can uh, we could calculate the mean value of factor v uh, also we can calculate the max value for v uh, which is 10 and this applies to data frame also so let's calculate the mean of the first column uh, which is 47.3 and also let's calculate the median of the second column which is 57 uh, now in many other cases uh, we do not want to remove the missing values from our data in such cases we can replace the missing values with either mean or median of the respective column uh, so here um, uh, in the first uh, first case uh, uh, I showed you guys how to replace uh, the missing value from a vector with a mean. Here, the position of the missing values have been replaced by uh, the respective mean of the vector v. So let's execute that code to see our vector. Okay, and let's round it uh, up to one decimal point. And you can see uh, the missing position, the missing value. Uh, is now replaced by 6.4 here in the fifth position and also in the ninth position okay uh, as we can apply this to our, our data frame also and and here and to replace just one column uh, uh, we can use the same method that we have done for our vector v so the first of so the missing data from the first column is now replaced replaced by the mean of the first column here so let's see our uh, our data frame with uh, new value of uh, column a so we can see here uh, the missing data uh, the missing values from column a are all removed and replaced by uh, the mean value of the first column we can apply the same method for all the columns uh, in this line of code um, uh, uh, first of all let's take the columns from one to five because we have five columns and then uh, the all the uh, columns with uh, um, missing value have been replaced by uh, the mean of the columns here so let's execute uh, this line of code to see whether our n is uh, our missing values will be replaced by mean or not so let's round it and we can see uh, our final data frame uh, here now the missing all the missing values has been removed by uh, removed and they have been uh, replaced by the mean value of the respective columns here uh, so 58.7 58.7 all these uh, are the mean value of the fifth columns uh, uh, which which are there uh, replacing the missing values and a so in this video tutorial um, uh, we, we saw how to uh, detect uh, missing values in the data and how to um, deal with them by using the mean of the uh, data so thank you very much for watching this tutorial um, i cannot wait to see you guys in the next video